namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagkakampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, Grade 7! It's a brand new day and a great chance to learn and enjoy through our virtual classroom brought to you by Valenzuela Live. I am Ma'am Jack, your teacher in TLE 7. So get ready with your pen, learning packets, as well as your ears and focus mind. Let's begin. To check if you could still remember our previous lesson, let's now have our review. Are you familiar with the pack or block game? I know you are. For our activity, just type pack in the comment box below if you think the statement is correct. And block if it is not. I will give you 10 seconds for each number. Are you ready? Let's begin. Question number one. Use oil lubricants to avoid Rust. Is it a pack or a block? Your time starts now. The correct answer is pack. Is it a pack or a block? Comment your answer now. The answer is block. For question number three, you need to disassemble the farm tools before cleaning them. What do you think? Is it a pack or a block? Yes! It's a pack! Very good! Let's move on to question number four. Changing the oil of your farm equipment every month is necessary. Is it a pack or a block? Your time starts now. Block is the correct answer. Number five, always check the loosened nuts and bolts of the farm tools. What is your answer? Fact or fact? All right, the answer is fact. Kindly react hard. Smiley for those who got four and thumbs up to those who got three and below. The learning you possess from your previous lesson will be of big help in our next topic. Today's learning competency is use and maintain farm tools and equipment. And our learning targets are number one, 
enumerate the procedures in cleaning farm tools and equipment. Number two, value the importance. Value the importance of cleaning and performing routine checkup and maintenance operations of farm tools and equipment. And lastly, clean and perform routine checkup and maintenance operations of the farm tools and equipment. Now, look at the group of pictures. They will help you in arranging the jumbled letters given to form the correct word. Are you ready to guess the word? Comment your answer in the comment box below. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Thank you for your responses. I see cleaning in the comment box. Let's see if it's correct. Very good. Cleaning is the correct word. Let's try another one. What do the pictures suggest? Can you guess the jumbled letters again? Some letters are already given. 10 seconds to type in your answer. Oh, 
help to prevent the formation of rust. Number six, clean tools thoroughly and keep them in a dry place or tool cabinet. Number seven, select a place in your shop where you can position your tools sturdily. Number eight, maintain a 30 degree angle between stone and blade to form the ideal cutting edge of tool. Number nine, use a medium grit sandpaper to remove rust on larger tools such as shovel, spades, and hooks. And number 10, tools that are worn out should be separated and be fixed immediately to avoid accident. We're done with the garden tools. Let's now move on to the farm equipment. Here are the procedures in cleaning farm equipment. Number one, loose bolt should be tightened firmly. Number two, check the oil, lubricant fuel, and cooling system. And number three, tractors should also be tuned up very well by a skilled operator. Number four, Apply lubricating oil for moving parts like in this flow and harrow. And number five, ordinary flow and wooden harrow should be checked thoroughly before use. Next is how to clean and sharpen pruning tools. Prepare all the materials like steel wool, sandpaper, oil, and fine. Number two, Disassemble all moving parts in tuning shears, lights, springs, and pivot joints. Number three, clean rust and dirt of all metal surfaces with a steel wool or sandpaper. Number four, apply a few drops of oil or water to the stone. Number five, wrap the sharp edge of the blade using file towards the stone in a curved motion. Number six, Wipe the tools with a clean cloth. Number seven, check the pruning shears if it is sharp by cutting the stem of plants. And number eight, keep the tools in a dry place or tool cabinet. To fully understand our topic, please check the provided link or you can scan the QR code on the screen and watch this video on how to clean the farm tools after our discussion of today's lesson. Thank you very much. To check your understanding in today's lesson, answer this activity. Directions. Supply each blank with the correct word to complete the statement. The choices are found inside the box below. Write your answer in your notebook. I will give you two minutes to answer this activity and your timer starts now.
now check your grip. Maintain the letter C, original factory bevel or angle. Number two, apply lubricating oil to prevent the formation of letter D, rust. Number three, tractor should also be letter F, tune up very well by a skilled operator. Number four, Wrap the sharp edge of the, of the blade towards the stone in a letter A curved motion. And number five, clean tools thoroughly and keep it in a B, dry place of your tool cabinet. Type your score in the comment box below. Great! Many of you got the perfect score. Don't forget to react hard if you enjoyed today's lesson. Great job. Thank you very much for the hearts. Remember, farm tools and equipment are the farmer's best friends. Always be responsible for keeping your tools and equipment clean and safe because doing so can help them last longer. For your assignment, answer the following activities from your TLE module week 5, what I know, what's more, and what I have learned. Once again, thank you very much grade 7 learners. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot from our topics today. For questions and clarifications, don't hesitate to notify your subject teachers. Surely they will attend to you. See you in our next Valenzuela Live again. This is Mam Jack signing off. Bye everyone.